Hey there, this video is on factoring perfect square trinomials. So remember what we did when we were squaring binomials? We took a binomial and we squared it. Now one option was to just write it down twice and use FOIL. So if I do that, my F gives me X squared, my O gives me XY, my I gives me XY, and my L gives me Y squared. So I end up with x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, which is what I have written up here. Now the shortcut that we talked about in class was we would square the first term, we would square the second term, and that was always a plus, and then we would double the product. x times y, if I double it, that's 2xy. So that's, what we, that's where we double the product. Okay, let's look at another one real quick just as a refresher. Let's say I've got 3x plus 7 and I'm going to square that. We square this. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. I square this. 7 times 7 is a positive 49. And then this product is 21x. And if I double that, I get 42x. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go backwards. If I started with this, how do I get back to here? Let's start with an easy one. x squared minus 16x plus 64. What I want you to do is I want you to key in on the first and the last term. If those are both perfect squares, then I want you to try doing the x and the 8, and this sign needs to match, and see if that works. Do I square this and get x squared, square this and get plus 64, and double the product, that's minus 8x, doubled is minus 16x. That works. Let's look at another one. Okay, here's another one. Again, if you look at a trinomial and you see a perfect square and a perfect square, then what I want you to do is to see by chance if it is in fact 5x plus 2. So take that 4 and take that 25x squared and put it in there and see if it works. Is the product here 10x? And then if we double it, do I get this, yes, I do. So that is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, let's look at this one. Same thing. I notice I've got a perfect square here, and I've got a perfect square here. So could it possibly work to do 4x minus 3, quantity squared? Well, let's check it. If I square this, I get 16x squared. If I square this, I get plus 9. So far, so good. But look what happens. The, the middle here, the, if I multiply those, I get negative 12x. So this should actually be minus 24x. But what I have up here is a minus 20x. So this does not work for that one. So on all of these problems, I just I want you to take a look at if, if these are both perfect squares, try this and see if it works. If it doesn't, we will be looking at other methods of factoring these. 